start off with a warm up. First exercise is squat shuffles. So, you're dropping down, hopping over, hopping over, kind of like a monkey. Tap the ground if you want, and we'll show you a modification as well. Here we go, we have Anna and Ivy, and we're going, let's do those squat shuffles. So Ivy in the back is taking out the jumping, taking out the high impact for anyone at home that might have joint issues. So you're covering ground. This one's good because it gets your heart rate up, it fires up your legs, but it also stretches out those hips as you get low into that squat. When you're squatting, remember, chest is tall, weight is on your heels, and your hips are sinking down. It's not your chest that's sinking down, but your hips are sinking down. We'll do a little bit more. Looks good. And relax. From here, we're gonna warm up the upper body. Arm circles. So we're gonna start with tight circles going forward. Let's start right there. Nice and tight. Warming up all those little muscles in the shoulders. The shoulders, such a complex joint. It's a ball and socket joint, meaning you can move every which way. But because of that, there's a lot of complexities to that, so we gotta get it fired up. Now we're going backwards, same thing. That is forward, you don't want to be down here or anything like that. And you might notice that your shoulders burn a little bit from these warm-ups, and that's fine, because we want to get everything lit up here before we get into the rest of the work that we have to do later. Now we're going to do big circles forward, and you might even feel your chest opening up here as you do these. A couple more, then we're going to go backwards. breathing as we go through these warm-ups. And now we're going back to the lower body, Frankenstein kicks, hands up, right to left, left to right, and here we go. You want a flexed quad because the goal here is to have straight legs to stretch out the hamstring. So if you flex this quad, it helps keep the legs straight. So pull up using your core as well. Keep your core nice and contracted. We need that firing in order to do the rest of the exercises for today. Now we're going to go right elbow to left knee, crossing over, cross it, switch, cross it, switch. We're firing up the hip flexors, and go ahead, girls. Firing up the hip flexors, twisting out the back a little bit, stretching the back. For anyone that has a lower back issue, this is a great one, just to get that area loosened up. There we go. And work with what you have. You know, if you don't have the hip strength or the range of motion to get all the way up there, just go as far as you can. Just make sure you're getting that rotation in. Now we're gonna go feet shoulder width apart, and we're doing hip rotations clockwise, okay? So big range of motion here, here we go. Stretch out the stomach, stretch out the sides. Warming up those hips. The hip joint, very similar to that shoulder joint, ball and socket joint, so there's a lot of muscles that need firing there. You might hear a few pops. My ankles pop when I do this kind of thing. We're going counterclockwise switch directions. And you might feel some hamstring here as well. Now, feet go together, and we're warming up the knees. So, circles, clockwise circles with the knees from the side. Here's what it looks like. And again, you feel your ankles here. Might be some popping. Nothing to worry about. And go the other direction. A few more. And Jess Baldwin. He's gonna help us through this first workout. Jess, you ready to do this? We're not gonna waste any more time. Starting with squat press. So what you're gonna do is pick up those dumbbells. I'm gonna use these little guys here to demo. <coughs> Weight is on your heels. Drop your hips back. Down, squat up. Back down. 
Back up 45 seconds. I'm gonna be checking form. And here we go. So Jess has got a real good tight frame here. <clears throat> Jess, go ahead and turn to the side. So what we wanna see, we wanna see his knees not going past his toes. His chest is tall. Nice tight core. Inhaling on the way down. Exhaling on the way up. And this is a total body move. It's gonna get the heart pumping. It's gonna get the metabolism going. About 10 seconds here, Jess. Keep pushing it. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, let's set those down. Putting the weights down for a minute. Sticking with the legs, it's gonna be one of the common themes here. Lower body, legs are basically the key to everything. We're gonna do what's called a squat kick or a belt kick. So what you're gonna do, Jess, hands at the waist. You're squatting down, stand and kick with the right. Squat down, stand and kick with the left. Ready to do it? And here we go. So if you want to modify this, you can add dumbbells to the side. But what I think you'll find with all these lower body moves, not really gonna be necessary. But Jess, go ahead and turn to the side again so the folks at home can see what you're doing. Jess is typically an upper body guy. Some of these lower body moves, we might throw them off a little bit, but that's all right, it's good for them. Nice job, buddy, 15 seconds left. Get those legs high. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, legs are gonna get a break. We're doing push-ups, which have been done since the dawn of time. Couple key things to remember with the push-up. Keep your shoulder blades together throughout the movement. You don't wanna be rounding that back. Your core is tight, all the way down, all the way up. 45 seconds, Jess, you ready to do this? Three, two, one, here we go. There we go, oh, geez. Did not expect that. This guy is just firing him off. I told you he was an upper body guy, folks. As you can see, his core is tight. If that lower back starts to dip, he will start feeling some lower back pain. So you wanna keep the core tight, keep the hips high, but not too high. And if at any point during this, you get tired, just pause, take a little set break, and then keep going. Modification of this, which I'm gonna show you right now, would be on the knees. If you don't have the upper body and core strength, drop down, push up. Just make sure you have a straight line from your knees to your shoulders, and time. Nice job, buddy. Okay, going from pushing right to pulling but we're gonna add some balance and core to it to make this workout efficient. So we have a single leg balance row. Let me demo this for you. So what you're doing, you're on your left leg. Your right leg goes back, balance. And let me tell you folks, balance, not one of my strengths, but just do your best with it. Okay, tight core, raise that leg back, and then you're rowing, coming back down. Make sure the shoulder doesn't dip on you. And if you can't balance, keep that leg close to the ground, but just make sure that back stays straight. Okay, we're gonna do 45 seconds. Right side only right now. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, and here we go. 45 seconds. Here we go, Jess. Now let's fight to get that back leg up a little bit. He's huffing and puffing here. This is good stuff for him. Just as an athlete, these balance moves are gonna pay dividends out on the basketball court. Keeping that core tight, the sweat is dripping. Looks good, looks good. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. So one of the benefits of this workout is, it is a strength workout, but we're getting cardiovascular work in at the same time because we're not stopping between these exercises. 
So what we're gonna do, this is circuit number one. We're going back to the squat press. Gonna run through it one more time. You ready for this? All right, let's do it, buddy. 45 second squat press, one more time. Here we go. Crank it out, make it count. There we go. Now, if at any point, some people are stronger up top, some people are stronger in the lower body. If the lower body gives out, stay up top and keep with the presses. If the upper body gives out, keep them cocked right here and just squat. Show me some of those, Jess. Keep it right at the shoulder. Good. Nice squats. And what that does, that weight in the front challenges the core. Always having to keep it tight and engaged. There we go. Let's put them both back together again. Finish it strong. 10 seconds. There we go, Jess. Three, two, one, and time. Nice. That's the hardest move right there. All right, we'll get these out of the way for you. Squat kick or belt kick. Not wasting any time. Going in three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Look like a Russian dancer, German dancer. Russian, German, I get them confused. There we go. Now keep the weight on those heels, Jess. Turn to the side once, let's get a good camera shot here. Now let's keep the weight on the heels, keep the hips back. Good, good. 15 seconds, finish it strong. This move also great for incorporating balance as you shift from one side to the other. Trust me folks, it's a lot harder than it looks. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, Jess. All right, legs get a break. We're going back down to the push-ups again. Let's do it. 45 seconds, I'm gonna do them with you. I'm gonna do them with you. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's do it. Come on, fire them off. Core is tight. If I stand around watching too much in this video, I'm gonna lose my pump, so I gotta jump in here every now and then, keep it going. Modification, folks. I'm not doing this to cheat, just to show you one more time. Dropping down. Common mistake, you'll see people put their hips up like this. That's not what we're after. Keep those hips down, shoulder blades together. Hands are under the chest. Here we go, 10 seconds. Finish it strong. Three, two, one. Whew. Now I feel for you, brother. Okay, other side. Single leg balance rows. Let's get that other hand in. Left hand, left leg going back. You ready for it? Here we go. Here we go, slow and controlled on this. Not a race. Fighting for height with that back leg. You're going for that tabletop effect. <laughs> now what you find with your balance, one side usually stronger than the other. Jess is right-handed, <clears throat> played a lot of baseball. His left leg has been his plant leg when he throws. Because of that, the left leg is more stable. Left side of the core is more stable. Here we go, finish it off, finish it off. Then we get a break, come on, three, two, one, and 30 second rest. Circuit number one is done. Stretching out now. Something you can do in these breaks, some ballistic stretches, just keep moving, give yourself some huggers, keep the body loose, 30 second rest. Allow that heart rate, a little bit of time to cool down here. Do some kickers here, keep the hamstrings loose. Thirty to sixty seconds, thirty to ninety seconds. Folks, if thirty seconds isn't enough, take sixty seconds. Try not to take more than ninety though. Okay, circuit number two. 
we have overhead back lunges. So you don't need a lot of weight here. The core is working like crazy in this one. I'm gonna show you from the side. Overhead arm is directly over your head. Jess, let me have you do this. Arm is directly over your head. Back lunge with the same leg. So drop down there, Jess. Keep your torso tall. It's gonna stretch out that hip flexor. Engage the glutes, engage the quads, and then come back up. Fight to keep that arm straight. 45 seconds again. Ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Now he's showing you an advanced way. You can either drop down, just tap up with the leg, or you can drop down and actually raise the knee. He's doing the more advanced version, adding the element of balance. Love to see it. This one also, like all the moves in the Glowing Fit series, are much harder than they appear to be. Now, if you find that this weight is too much to handle, what you're gonna do, just put a hand up, drop down, and stand up, modification there. And I'll take this from you, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we've got a real nasty core and back move here. We have alternating plank rows from the push-up position. What you're gonna do, get in this push-up position. These dumbbells here roll from side to side, so it's gonna add an element of balance. So you're here, drop down, and then row. Keep that core tight, drop down, and then row. Modification, drop down to the knees, and then come up, okay? So what I wanna see, I wanna see you stay off the knees as long as you can, and then when you need to drop down, just go right ahead. Man, I did three reps and I'm tired. Okay, ready? Let's do it, three, two, one, and here we go. There it is, keep that core nice and tight. Gonna work muscles that you never knew you had. There we go. Jess is doing a great job keeping that straight line from heels to shoulders, which is what we want. 15 seconds, drop down to the knees. Go ahead and turn to the side, Jess, too, so we can check the form over here. Keep it going. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, buddy. Okay, we have a weighted lateral lunge. These are 15s, you don't need anything close to 15s on these. So what you're doing here, you're here, we're dropping down. Right leg is straight, left leg bends. Keep your chest tall, you're getting this nice stretch on the inner thigh, and then you're popping up. Let me show you that from the side. Step to the side, sit back into that chair. You don't wanna be going forward, sit back in the chair, pop up. Okay, we're gonna stick with one side here. Jess is catching his breath, he's good to go. 45 seconds, three, two, one, here we go. There it is. Nice thing about this move, it's also a flexibility move. Stretching out that hip adductor on the inside. The challenge here as he keeps going with this is gonna be keeping that torso tall and keeping that knee from popping forward. Jess, go ahead and turn to the side. Keep it going, we're staying on that one leg. Getting some nice glute pop up, explode up. Another great move for sports with the explosive aspect. Three, two, one, and time. Let's set those down. Switching to our heavier weights. Keeping in line with the lower body theme, but now we're adding an upper body element as well. It's a squat with an upright row. Weight drops down between the legs. 
chest as it has to stay tall here. Squat and use the legs. Pull up to the chin, drop back down. Pull up, drop back down from the side. It's here. My weight is on my heels. I kick back. There's no bend in my back. We don't want this to happen. Keep it tight. Use the legs to boost yourself up. Okay? All right, Jess. He's feeling it. He's burning. He's gonna love the feeling afterwards though. Ready? And here we go. There it is. Use those legs to give you a nice boost. Try to get it all in one fluid motion here. There we go. If you get to the point where you're using your legs enough, your arms will really just be along for the ride. Now see how his eyes stay forward. Another trick to keeping your back straight. You can keep your eyes up, looking up towards that ceiling. It'll help make sure that back stays in good, proper alignment. Give me a side shot here, Jess. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. A little 10 second breather here. Guess what we're doing now? We're doing it again. Overhead back lunge, we gotta get that other side. Left arm, left leg going back. JB5, here you go. All right, ready brother? Overhand, left hand goes up, keeping it straight. Left leg drops back, and here we go. 45 seconds. There we go, right side is gonna be more of a challenge for some people, myself included. There we go, let's face to the right now. Let's get that side shot again. This arm, ideally you wanna have it directly over the head. It can be tight, it can be difficult if you have tight lats, tight shoulders, tight chest. In three, two, one, and time, good. Okay. Alternating plank rows, the back and the core. We'll get that timer ready. 45 seconds, this one's gonna be a challenge the second time through, you gotta tighten up that core. Going in three, two, one, and here we go, Jess. Plank row, plank row. I'm gonna hop in here, do a few with you. Here it is. I got the five pounders. No problem here, no problem here. If you wanna make it tougher, you can even add a little pause and then drop down. Jess, you just keep doing what you're doing. I'll show the folks the pause. Drop down to those knees. There we go, drop those hips a little bit. Five seconds, four, three, two, one and time. Oh, all right. A couple more exercises to go in this circuit, circuit number two. Weighted lateral lunges. We're going the other direction. Give you the five pounders. Two more exercises, then we'll take a break. Hang in there. Dropping down to the side. Left leg is straight this time. Pop back up. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's do it, weight is on the right heel. Hips are dropping back as he steps down. See how that, those hips kick back and then pop back up. There we go, there we go. I don't think Jess realized what he was signing up for today. He's being a good sport about it though. He's a fit guy, he can take it. 15 seconds, Jess. Come on, ball of baldy, let's do it. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. All right, mister. Squat, upright row. Went with the heavy one last time. Let's go lighter this time. 
45 seconds, we'll get that timer going here. And three, two, one, here we go. Squat up to the chin. Squat up to the chin. There we go. Use those legs, use those legs to power it. If you're using enough explosion, you can even make this a power move here where I'm dropping down and I'm even getting a little bit of a hop at the top. Kind of a ballistic type bounce here. Hop at the top, explode up. Great move for sports. 10 seconds left, finish it strong. Here we go, pick up that pace. Three, two, one, and time. We're gonna give you 60 seconds to catch your breath. <sighs> so what you can do, folks, in these rest periods, some more ballistic movements, just kind of an active quad stretch here. Not holding it. Just keep the movement going. You can drop down. A little straight leg. Balance reach here. Drop down. Get those kicks going. Just keeping the muscles loose, keeping the heart rate up, but also allowing, allowing it to come down to a certain extent. Guess what, we only have one more circuit. Jess is working hard. I'm breaking a sweat just watching him. Ready to do this, Jess? Okay. And guess what, the legs are working again here. Okay, so first move is a forward lunge with a lateral raise. So this is a leg move, a core move, and a balance move. Getting the deltoids in, a little bit of detail work on the arms here. You're dropping forward, raising the arms, pop back up, switch sides, losing my balance, whoop, whoop. raise it, pop back up. 45 seconds. The end is near. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Nice simultaneous movement there. There we go. Now a common mistake you'll see as Jess continues to do this is you'll see some people step forward and as they raise those dumbbells, they'll throw their back into the move. You wanna keep it nice and tight. Jess, give me a side angle here. There we go. That torso staying upright. He has 10 seconds left. He's working like crazy. Three, two, one, and time. You see the sweat? Come on. It's dripping. It smells kind of bad too, but that's okay. All right. One of my personal favorites here is a straight leg deadlift. Lower body and particularly the hamstrings. If you haven't done these before, I'll warn you, you might feel a little bit of hamstring soreness for the next few days, but that's all right. It'll go away, it'll make you stronger, it'll work your core, and the balance aspect is gonna work that central nervous system. So what we're doing here, body is tight, weight is in the right hand, you're dropping down, leg lifts as the torso drops down, try to keep this left leg as straight as you can, you can't see this calf, but it's twitching like crazy right now. And then come back up. So full speed, it looks like this. You're down and you're up. Modification, just keep this foot back. Keep it close to the ground. Tap it, come back up. All right, Jess, ready to do it. Left leg only. Right leg is dropping back. Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Now what I want to see you do, Jess, raise that, le that right leg at the same time as your body starts to drop down here. There we go. Make sure that right shoulder doesn't dip on you. There we go, this is tough. You might stumble a little bit. Not a problem. Here we go, 10 seconds left. Three, two, 
one and time just getting the one side only for now we'll get the other side you probably figured out the pattern by now the second time through we have bent rows alternating so from the side angle i'm kicking my hips back trying to get my chest as close to parallel as i can what you might notice is if you lack the mobility and flexibility in the lower back your back's going to start rounding as you get lower in which case you're going to have to stay a little bit more upright but if you can get down there, get low, keep the weight on your heels, your shoulders are back, and then you're alternating the rows, one side, other side. Just like so, from the forward angle, we're here, one, and then the other. Solid back exercise. The standing bent over element of it, add some core to the mix. You ready to do this? Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. There we go, one at a time. This one's right up your alley, Jess. I've seen you do those pull-ups in the gym. Eyes are forward as usual. Keep it, help keeping the spine in proper alignment. Let's go ahead and turn to the side again. Most important part here, hips are back. Chest always facing forward. Even as you drop down, that chest is gonna be facing forward. 10 seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Okay, circuit three only has three exercises, so we're running through those three one more time. Alternating forward lunge with the lateral raise one more time, Jess. Have a nice healthy dinner after this, huh? Yeah. Maybe. It's not pizza night, is it? No. Okay. All right, here we go. Last three exercises, and we're going. Make them count, Jess. Push hard. Dig deep for these. Dig deep. There we go. Now, as you lunge forward, keep the weight on that heel. Try not to put too much on your front toe because then you'll feel the stress on the knee. Good. Torso's upright. Let's get another side view of it. You know, keep an eye on that knee, folks. See how it goes to the edge of the toe, but it doesn't go past. That's what we're looking for. In five, four, three, two, one. Done with those guys. Straight leg deadlift. We've got the other side. Let's push through it, buddy. Left hand, left leg going back. Balancing on the right leg. The right leg's gonna be a tougher balance for Jess. Here we go, 45 seconds. Let's make it happen. On my right. Yep. Standing on the right leg. Weight is in the left hand. Left leg drops back. Three, two, one. Here we go. The balance is gonna be tricky over here. Especially with all those years of baseball. All-star center fielder right here, folks. One of the best arms in the business. There we go. He's doing a pretty good job on this right side. There we go. Just make sure that left shoulder doesn't dip on you. There we go. His leg is nice and straight. Good torso starting to creep a little bit. Make sure that leg comes up with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We're down to the last exercise, everybody. Oh my gosh. Bent over rows. Let's finish it strong. 45 seconds. And then we can breathe and then we can relax. All right, Jess, let's make it happen. It's money time here, it's money time. Three, two, one, and here we go, push through it, push through it. If you're tired at this point of the workout, just keep going. There we go. Just still doing a great job, looking forward. There we go, shoulders are staying up in that cocked position, not dipping. The tendency at this point of the workout, as the core is fatigued, 
just for the shoulders to start dipping on you. You don't want to let that happen. 15 seconds. Okay, last 10. Here we go. Pick it up. Double time it. Double time it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Set him down, my friend. What we're going to do right now is just start cooling it down. So we're just jogging in place a little bit here. Never want to just completely stop and crash when you're done. You want to keep moving a little bit. So just light jogs into a little jumping jack. As you can see, it's not a full range of motion jumping jack, just kind of moving the arms and the legs. From here, we'll go into leg kicks. And gradually just lower the kicks down until you're basically just shuffling back and forth. Okay, from here, feet together, side bend. So, kick the hip out to the side, stretch the right side of your body, look up towards your hand, and just breathe. And then we're gonna drop down into the other side. Solid work though. It's always fun to finish with those, those high intensity intervals and cardio at the end. Quad stretch, so grab the foot, pick out a reference point, or just use a chair or a wall. The knee comes in tight towards the other knee, and then your glutes squeeze forward on that right side, and just hold that. It should be slowing down a little bit. Now we're going to the other side. And what's great about these total body workouts is you get, you know, if you push yourself to an intense enough level, you'll get that nice afterburn effect. You know, when you do the steady state cardio or you're out or you're jogging or you're on the elliptical, you burn calories while you're on the piece of equipment, but then it kind of stops when you're done. And this kind of stuff, it keeps going. So, Wide stance, let's drop down and stretch the hamstrings. Just hang, you can either put your hands on the floor or fold them, keep your quads flexed so the legs stay straight. Just relax right here. You can rock it back and forth a little bit. Take both hands and put them towards your right foot, the right side. Both hands towards the left. And now you're going to put your hands to the ground, take your right leg, drop it back behind you. And you're taking your inside arm right here and dropping down. I'll turn to the front so you can see at home. You're just kind of sinking down. We work those hips pretty hard, especially at the end. Stretch these out to keep them from locking up. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Switch the legs. Right leg is forward. Now what you want to make sure you're doing is you want to get a straight line from knee to ankle. So you don't want to be forward here, but you want to be right here. And then sink that inside arm down. And then we'll drop back down into the child's pose. Breathe through this, sink your hips down into your heels, lengthen with your hands, and hold this for as long as you want to. If you still feel tight, just go through the stretches again. 